This video shows you how to use the uh, SciStat calculator app in order to calculate a chi-square. I'm starting with the problem from exam 2 that looked at lineup choice, whether uh, mock jurors chose the actual perpetrator, a bystander, a stranger, or said the person was not there based on the type of lineup they were viewing, simultaneous or sequential. Now, in order to get that data into the SciStat calc under the chi-square test for independence calculator, the first thing I have to do, and you should read the instructions, I have to click to add a row. And the row, it says, has to have the numbers in my table with a comma between them. So I am going to look 15, 10, 5, and 0. 15, so I type it in the box, 15, comma, 10, comma, 5, comma, 0. And that was for the first row. Now I have to add another row. I'll go back and look. 7, 10, 7, 6. So I add those in. 7, comma, 10, comma, 7, comma, 6. And it's a good idea to double check it. Yes, that's correct. So I didn't choose a file. I just typed them in. And then I calculate. Once I'm done calculating, it tells me the number of rows is 2, the number of columns is 4, the total number of outcomes is 60, and all of this is quite correct. Here is the chi-squared test statistic of 9.242, and the corresponding p-value, two-tailed for this, by the way, with 3 degrees of freedom, is 0 0.026. So that's what we need to have with the chi-square. So that's fairly painless, and um, you can use the results from your contingency tables in order to get these chi-squares. So remember, this is SciStat Calc, and that's how you do it.